All right, how surprising. Uh, Sarah Boone. I was about to say something really, really weird. But uh, Sarah Boone. I've read the comments. Yesterday she was found guilty. I'm pretty sure it was unanimous. I just found this out. I just Googled her name and just to see what's up because it's a pretty major case in Florida. And it is, what is it, 6.30 right now? It's nice outside. It's cool. And by the way, I'm posting this on, um, what is it, Saturday? Yeah, Saturday, October 26th of 2024. Just so you guys know that this, that when this video is made. But I know you guys are really smart. Okay. I mean... <laughs> All right, instead of insulting your audience, let's get to what Sarah Boone is accused of. Okay, so she's accused of second-degree murder, and she actually got a, a plea deal. I don't know how the timeline, but it, was, it wasn't it was too long ago. It was about a few weeks, maybe a week or two ago, maybe three, I don't know. Within a month, within the month, she got a, a, an a offer from the prosecutor for a plea deal. She rejected that, obviously, because Sarah Boone, it's always somebody else. And she admitted that she beat the suitcase with him in it, and she made videos that a lot of people are in, familiar with the case, which is a lot of people. I mean, she literally is, like, a, verbally abusing him. All she had to do was go over there and let him out all, for all the things you've, <laughs> you've done to me. <laughs> Well, now she's facing at least uh, over two decades. Thing is, she would have been out, well, technically, if she accepted the plea deal for, like, ten years or whatever, right? Thing is, they would basically give her time served with some extra years to serve, but she basically would have served already almost half of her sentence because she was held without bail because, thing is, even if it's, like, not, you, you know, you're not likely to be convicted... Just, you know, if the charge is, like, life in prison, up to life in prison, or a definite life sentence, you you don't really get bail. Because it's automatically assumed that you're going to run or do something drastic. Because, you know, you got nothing to lose, which, you know, it's kind of messed up sometimes when it's used in the wrong way. But, yeah, it doesn't matter if you're the best person in the community. Everyone knows you didn't do it, you know. But thing is, she did it. You know, and I'm surprised, well, I'm not surprised that she didn't take the plea deal, but wouldn't her lawyers just, just butter, butter out and say, yes, just take it, please. They probably beg her, you know, I've heard that that's probably why she used to fire her attorneys. You know, she, nine attorneys, a lot of taxpayers feeding her later. And then just for the, for the outcome we all knew was coming. Except Sarah, but, you know, people like that, I've experienced with them. They could do no wrong. They never do any wrong in their own eyes. Thing is, what that does when you punish them in any sort of way, that actually reinforces their victim mentality, you know? So she's going to think she's even more of a victim. So there's just no winning. There is no winning. You just got to work harder with these types of people. Because there really is no winning. I've experienced with them. I mean, whatever, right? But anyway, Sarah Boone, guilty. The jury found her guilty. She can't appeal a guilty verdict, but she can, she can appeal her sentence if they... I mean, they probably won't because... I mean, that'd be a stupid thing. Imagine, like, there's, like, a girl in, like, uh, California somewhere who stabbed her boyfriend to death, allegedly during high, when she was high... She didn't even get, what, two, two years of probation and a little bit of community service? 108 community service hours, not even one hour per stab wound. And she's actually appealing her sentence. Bro, that, I'm like, that, everyone's saying, good, appeal her, let her appeal, and then they get retry her, and then they sentence her to 20 years to life. I mean, that's the way it works. I mean, you just, I just hate people like her, Sarah Boone. Literally, you can tell that everyone in this courtroom hated the shit out of her. Didn't want her there. Well, she's gonna, she's probably not going to make it out of prison. She's already almost 50 years old anyway, you know? Anyway, guys, 
if anything co comes up that I happen to not notice, because sometimes I, I, this stuff kind of blends together sometimes because how crazy we've gotten, you know, so it sort of blends in together. But if anything pops up that you guys see, anyone who watches this video, any of my subscribers who watch it, feel free to bring it up to me and I'll make sure to report on that. Anyway, convicted second degree murder because it's debatable whether she intended to. She most likely did, but it's just easier. Whatever. Bye, guys. Peace.